the government uh, made a bold new commitment mm -hmm. to boost uh, the clean energy, which could say 95% of the UK electricity to be low carbon by 2030. Here's the thing. The amount of electricity fed into the grid must always be equal to the amount consumed. Any imbalance would lead to a blackout. While the amount of fossil fuels used can adjust to demand, the amount of wind or solar energy that goes directly into the grid cannot be controlled. The white boxes we're currently seeing are known as battery storage containers. Each battery storage container is equipped with 2.5 megawatt hour of batteries. There are 40 battery storage containers in the Manatee battery storage plant with a total capacity of 100 megawatt hour, which is equivalent to 10,000 British families' daily electricity consumption. The battery storage plant mainly stores renewable energy, such as solar energy and wind energy. It can store electricity when there is redundancy in the grid and discharge some of it when there is a shortage of power. Typically, uh, hydro energy storage and battery storage are widely used in power system. The hydro system is large in size and long in construction period. Its site selection heavily depends on the topography. The energy storage, however, is more flexible with a smaller size and a layout. The most important thing is that it has a faster response in seconds to grid requirement. <laughs>